This episode is sponsored by Brooklinen. Dear my friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today we are going to be adventuring into the second bedroom once again. We have recently traveled into this space to tackle a hidden bookcase secret room. After spending so much time in that room, it really got me thinking. About a year ago, my wonderful friend Alexandra Gator came into that space and she made it over. I wanted her to push me outside my comfort zone, what I would usually do in a bedroom. As you guys know, I love to paint a wall super white and then accent it with a lot of farmhouse pieces. I wanted it to feel different from the room and I absolutely love the contrast from the main bedroom to the second bedroom, that light and dark feel. It's brought me a lot of joy and I don't want to take that away. I want to embrace it and now that Gator has gone in there and kind of given it a decor makeover, what could I do to give it a little DIY flair? A little Little Danny creative beast flair. So I started noodling it and I want to give this room a little refresh, a little DIY love to elevate that kind of dark moody vibe. So I hope you're ready. Let's get into this dark academia moody bedroom makeover refresh. I'll work on the title. <laughs> Editor, roll the tape. Boop. Okay, so before we get into this bedroom make of a refresh, I wanted to kind of walk you guys through where this room is at. So as you can see, there is no bedding on this bed. Um, and that is because I had to repair the ceiling. The entire upstairs house had big pot lights and for me to put in tiny lights, we had like this giant hole in the ceiling. So I ended up having to repair that whole ceiling, put in a new circuit, and uh, this is what we're left with. So it's ready to paint. But then as I was repairing this, I just started repairing a lot of other things. So we have this beautiful display, my beautiful abstract wall. I just saw one and then all of a sudden I saw another and then I was just a mad woman. I was just like, every hole was like, this gets one, this gets one. I call it bold and bright. Now we're left with this. So that's where that's at. This has not changed at all since Skater has been in here. The wallpaper, I love it. It's beautiful. Let me crawl to it. Gator had something working against her, which is my wobbly house. Um, it's very challenging to make a straight cut along this. What I'd love to do is add a piece of trim across this entire top just to like hide the wonkiness of this house. That was pretty good actually. The other thing that I added in here was this lovely fireplace. Kind of made a very moody cabin feel in here that I love, but then it stopped working. So at this point, it's just like collecting dust. So I think I am going to remove that out. And then the last thing, this lovely door that leads to a closet. One day I will make over this closet on the inside, but today we're going to focus on the outside of the closet. So stand by, it's gonna be adorable. I don't know, that's a miss. This is basically where the room is at. We also have the secret door over here. If you haven't seen that video, it's linked here. I have my friend Jess here with me. Applause for Jess. Hey. hey! So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is painting this room, which means I gotta get all of this out. We have removed everything from the room. As you know, we are going to be painting, but painting what? I've been thinking about how to kind of add some creative pizzazz. If I'm going to step outside my comfort zone and embrace this world, I really want to go a step farther, which this could backfire huge. It's one of those things where I want to take a creative chance because paint can be painted over. I'm going to be painting all of the trim in this room a different color. I know, I'm trusting my gut. I'm gonna trust the process and see how this works out. And if I don't like it, well, in six months, I'll be doing the redemption episode. <laughs> Jess and I are going to pull all the trim off the wall and we're gonna put them up on sawhorses just to make it easier to paint. Hot dog, let's remove some trim. Okay, 
let's reveal the color. So no one has seen this color, including Jess. Okay, you guys ready? Bum, 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 bum. So this is called Blackberry Jam. So I wanted to pick a deep jewel tone purple, something that was going to match the wallpaper on the back and kind of complement it a little bit. I love this because it's kind of feminine. It's a little sexy. So I feel like we're gonna have like a really beautiful two-tone that's gonna complement the wallpaper. And I'm just like, I think it's fun. So that's my plan. Whether or not I'm going to regret this, still undecided, but either way, we're going bold. Okay friends, it is very late now. What we did today was awesome. I'm kind of trusting the process with this because like I feel like 50-50 right now with the purple. So this is one of those scenarios where I'm choosing to trust the process and uh, we'll see how it goes. Jess and I are cleaning up and uh, we got a lot of DIYs coming up this week. So many DIYs, I'm stoked. So I hope you're stoked. So I'll see you tomorrow so we can get started. Bye-bye. <laughs>、uh, very early in the morning. <laughs> Probably like 6 30. I woke up probably like five o'clock and I could not sleep. So I just got up. I kind of came in here and sat down. So let me tell you a story. Last night, Jeffrey comes into the room and he goes, Wow, looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in here. It's like Donatello's room. What would you call our new digs? How about the sewer of solitude? It was over after that. I could not move on. Every time I came in here, I was like, it's the Ninja Tur Turtle room now. <laughs> the idea is there. I think the purple that I chose was not the right color. So I talked to Jess and the two of us just decided that we're not gonna be happy with it if we don't just do the right thing and repaint it. There's like a level of trusting the process and also just knowing deep down in your gut that there's something off. So it's kind of listening to that and learning when to listen to that and when not to listen to that is, is a real challenge. So I'm gonna go get dressed and then make some coffee, get Jess here and we're gonna start painting. Okay. Ready? New paint color. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's the way she goes, but this new color is called Medieval Wine. And as you can see, it is a much more deep, deep purple. This is definitely the color I wanted it to be from the get go. So, second time's the charm, am I right? So, let's go. Repainted all of the trim. Actually, that didn't take as long as I thought. The new color, it's like night and day. Well, we've made it a little bit darker, so it's more like day to night. <laughs> waka waka. So now that the painting is done, I think that we can finally start ripping off the tape, clean up, and bring some items back into this room because I have some fun bedding stuff that I want to talk about. Woohoo! Let's bring in this bed so I can go to bed because I'm tired of painted trim, okay? Now that we are officially done painting, I'm excited because the next way I want to refresh this bedroom is with the bedding. I kind of feel like bedding is a simple way to refresh a room because you don't have to DIY anything, you don't have to spend a lot of money on decor, and it can give your whole room a new feel. I've updated my bed sheeting with Brook Linen, which is exciting because it's also the sponsor of today's episode. Oh, she. <laughs> you get it. The entire Brook Linen brand was founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple, beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup. By cutting out the middleman, Brook Linen manufactures responsibly and efficiently to offer exquisite design at an exceptional price. You know what these sheets feel like? Luxury. Like I just spent a Kardashian amount of money on sheets. 
but I didn't. Which actually I'd have to say is probably the most notable talking point when it comes to Brooklyn and sheets. So their classic and luxe hardcore bundles typically cost around $200 to $250 depending on your bed size. Comparable luxury sheets can normally cost around $500 and that's a lot of moolah. So for this bedroom, I actually went with the classic sheet bundle. So instead of buying individual bed items, I actually saved 25% by purchasing the hardcore sheet bundle, which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. These sheets are so beautiful. I was told they keep the bed cool, which is great for hot sleepers. And their classic sheets feature a breathable 270 thread count weave, which is why it has that hotel style luxury feeling. Now, of course, I also wanted to treat myself. So for me, I got the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle, which again includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. These sheets are so beautiful looking and are incredible to sleep in. They are sateen sheets, which means it's more tight woven and heavier in weight. They are so warm and have a buttery soft feeling to them. These sheets have a 480 thread count and a slightly luminous finish, but honestly, it doesn't even matter because both sets feel absolutely magical. For both the classic and luxe hardcore bundles, you can shop online and mix and match from 20 plus colors and patterns to fit your particular style. I went for a more classic color for the second bedroom, but had just a bit more fun with the color in my bedroom because why not? The best part is that Brooklinen is offering everyone a special discount that gets you $20 off when you spend $100 on bed sheets. All you gotta do is use the link in my description box. Okay, I'm just gonna take a nap now and then we will get back to the DIY, I promise. Maybe. I'm just so comfortable. Good morning, my DIY friends. Today, we are building a DIY light and I'm so excited because this is an idea that I've had for a really long time. It's something I've wanted to do for a really long time and I got the idea from a brand called A Beautiful Mess. A lot of you must follow them on Instagram. If you do not, I will link them in my description box. Long time ago, they made a light and I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make that. So I've come up with my own version of it and uh, let me show you what we're gonna do. On Wayfair, I sourced this beautiful sunburst mirror. Come on out. There we are. Let's just get rid of that. We have a sunburst mirror. Check that out. How cute is that? Now, if anyone has been watching my channel for a while, then you would remember when I made over my third bedroom. On the ceiling, I ended up ordering an Amazon light. It's a little ball light. I love the ribbed glass on it. This is so affordable. I will link it down below. What I'd like to do is attach this to this base. And then once this is on, it's basically its own self-contained light. We're gonna pop this on the ceiling and then we're gonna have a beautiful little sunburst ceiling light. Isn't that fun? First things first, we need to remove the back of this mirror, completely take it out and then um, go from there. So let's make a DIY light. Yes. How are you today? So that's about it. I'm gonna let this sit. We'll wait till tomorrow when this is like fully cured and hardened and then we will spray paint this one cohesive color. With that said, we still have a lot to do. So let's get on to the next DIY. Woo! Come on! It's cold outside. As we all know, I love to put in peg racks in like every room. However, I decided to do a elevated peg rack. So I picked up this beautiful olive wood live edge slab. I picked this up so long ago with zero intention of what I was gonna do with it. I just saw the board and I'm like, I'm vibing with you and we gotta go home together. <laughs> Now it is too big for the peg rack that I wanna make, so we are gonna have to knock it down a little bit. But other than that, so we're gonna do a pegboard, super easy project, let's go. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. 
All I really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, I got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this a probate. You hit the line and tried to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. Woo! I got some weird flavors in my mouth right now, but other than that, she looks beautiful. Does anybody you know have a hamster? Right? I really need to get a shovel. <laughs> All that to do with this. Okay, come help me. Did you just pull a bunch back into the shop? No. Okay, so let's talk about doors. <laughs> I found this door at the ReStore for 70 bucks. It was such a great deal. When I thought about what I wanted for this room, I kept picturing a very warm wood door to contrast all of the greens and the purples. And when I saw this door at the ReStore, I was like, this is it. I love looking for unique doors for spaces because I just think that doors like art completely change the feeling of a room. and. I think once we get this door in, I feel like it's gonna make this room feel very cozy and I'm here for it. So thank you door. So let's put up a door so we can close this door's chapter. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Honestly, it never even crossed my mind that this would not line up. I was like, this is great. I think the room is done. It's officially time to bring this room together. Yes! Camera high five! Let's go! Okay. Thank you so much for watching this DIY updated moody bedroom. I'm so excited of how this turned out. Honestly, I feel like I was able to add a little DIY flair to this space. And although it still feels moody, I feel like I was really able to bring kind of like a moody floral vibe to this space. It's very feminine. It's still very cozy. And I am so happy with the way that this turned out. Honestly, all together, like I was a little nervous about the purple, but I do think that it really adds that extra flair for personality and conversation. So I'm very excited and who knows where this room will go over time. Thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this episode. Of course, if you want to get $20 off your next sheet set, make sure you use the link in my description box for any order over $100. 
And of course, a big thank you to all of my patrons. Thank you for your continued support. If you want to join my Patreon, we have a lot of fun stuff happening over there and on my Discord. We share a lot of DIY ideas and we do fun DIY challenges, so go check it out. I've linked it in my description box. As always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.